Welcome back everyone, it's Chronic Clouds here. Today we have a replay in the War Spy B showcasing what happens when you hold your flank. Let's have a quick look at the ship, upgrades and stats and commander build before we get into the gameplay. Alright, commander, here's my mods or perks or whatever you want to call them and my inspirations Von Essen and Jajard that's how I rock with my war spy baby let's get it we have north um, this game gets really interesting uh, at the beginning <laughs> right off the spawn you'll see what I mean here in just a second Alright, right off the rip, if you look at the map, you'll notice it spawns me way out here, way away from everybody else and kind of out of the out of the battle. So I have to instantly put myself in a position to help my flank. And uh, I'll let you watch and see what happens for yourself here. A Fabuki, Guapard, and Acosta against us. I mean... You gotta always know what destroyers you got going against you, that's for sure, in a battleship. But yeah, let's go ahead and push in over here on sea and see if we can't help out these two destroyers in this uh, battleship we got on our flank here. Right off the rip, we see we have a Queen E. And I believe there is also a Baron out here. I love this ship. Such a pretty ship. Especially with this uh, black camo. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. These two destroyers up here both had uh, premature smoculation. <laughs> and if you notice, look at the map, what they're doing. They literally drop smoke and they're out of here. They're gone. They're going to be. They could give two cents less about capturing C right here. I actually tried to call them back, but uh, it doesn't work. Unfortunately. It would have been really nice to have them over here. I never understand why, you know, people just leave flanks like that. But uh, it is a thing. People do do it. You just kind of got to just make a smart tactical decision on what you want to do. Alright, we get to a point where we can kind of put some suppressed fire down. And look at that, right off the rip, our auto nick gets a double strike off of a battleship and destroyer. We'll take that any day of the week, huh? Okay, take some pop shots at this uh, Queen Elizabeth, who is just sitting there, kind of angled. But uh, we managed to get a nice 10k out of her on our first salvo, and pretty much angle everything she shot at us, so... That looks like a win in my books. Now I know this Baron is up here somewhere creeping. And I'm trying not to put myself in a broadside position to him real early. So I'm gonna kinda sit here and wait for a second. Yep, there he goes. He popped right up. Right on cue. See if we can't get a couple shots on him right here. Another nice shots on the Queen Elizabeth there. War Spot has such good penetration, guys. I'm not even joking. How does a 30 second reload? We don't really notice it. Here we go with our first shots at the Bairn. And these look pretty good if I don't say so myself. And pow, 12k. Right into the side of him. No Citadel because that turtle back is 
protecting it pretty well, even here at range a little bit. Um, if he's just gonna stay his broadside though, so like that, we might as well go ahead and chip some more damage off him if we can here. And looks like we got another great penetration. We'll take that. He's gonna kind of disappear behind this island, and if you notice right there, there's some smoke right there. So that tells me that that last destroyer in the game is over here. But the question is, where is he at? Because you would think he would have pushed in and tried to capture by now. I don't know if he's afraid of our friendly battleship in here or or what's going on. But we'll just say that. How about that? We'll just go with that. As we get another nice penetration on the Queen Elizabeth there. Our team over there on the A flank kind of won their side. Now we're just trying to hold off and wait for them to come up and get a crossfire on these reds. I had a bad decision right here. Should I shoot the queen or shoot the noon? I was like, you know what? Never pass up a chance to get a fire starter off the off the off the map, so let's go ahead and see if we can't do that. Shots are off and Do we get it? Bang, right in the side and he's back at port. <laughs> Wondering how did this happen? Alright, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and put our nose into the end of this island right here and we're going to start flipping our guns around to the other side. That way we can start pressuring from a better angle onto this uh, Queen Elizabeth and try to get this Queen Elizabeth and Baron knocked out of here if we can. And I mean, for, for a tier 5 ship, I mean, this thing makes bank. Um, it's definitely a tier 5 that I would recommend for anybody that's, you know, made it up to tier 5 by now. And they're kind of wanting to buy their first ship. Or, you know, they got their doubloon saved up and they kind of want to get a ship. I highly recommend the War Spite. It's a good money maker. It hits hard. If you angle and you maneuver it properly, you'll have so much fun in every game you play in it. This isn't the highest damage game that you're going to see, but it does showcase, you know, what happens when you hold your flank. You create crossfires for your, the other flank if they hold their flank and they win their flank, and it's pretty much a win after that. Let's see if we can get some more penetrations on Queen E. Shots are off, and I saw a little 8K and the... Uh, what what do you know? We got torpedoes coming right at us. Let's go ahead and start turning in on those. We end up bow tanking everything the queen shoots at us, so no problem there. And at this point, the Baron is in a bad spot. He's not too long in this match, and he's gone. And he's out of there. And Queenie kind of gets away a little bit right there with some vertical dispersion on my end. Or maybe that was just a bad aiming uh, spot. But we still managed to get 4,000 off her, so I mean, not too bad. She hits us a little harder than we air. Hey, it happens. But we're not done here. We're going to try to manage this and see if we can't win this game for our, for our team. Alright, I noticed I have that destroyer over there to my left. Coming around there from outside of B. So I get a little bit of confidence right here. I go ahead and push up. Hit the Queen E for another <laughs> 9k almost. Knock a gun out. We'll take that. But that's not the game winning play right there. Now let's see if we can get the queen, she's turning out, and she's out of there. And look who shows up to the party, Mr. Acosta. Alright, let's see if we can get this done. Hmm. 
my initial thoughts are he's going to end up going behind this island right here and press around us. Um, I managed to get a decent shot here and dodge all his torpedoes that he shot, which was not hard. But um, let's see what we can get here. Yeah, we managed to get a little, you know, 1300 out of that. Ended up getting a high caliber from it, though. But here's what I meant. I thought he was going to keep going around the edge of this island right here. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to get torqued from behind. Let me go ahead and turn out and get these guns on the inside so I can have them pointing that, uh, that, you know, gap right there in the island. But if you notice, I keep my eyes right there on the end of that island. I have a feeling he might pop right back out, but uh, I make my mind up here in a second that he's going to come out from over there, and you'll see how that plays out. See, here's where I commit. I'm like, okay, he's going to come from over here, and there he goes, pop back up. So I'm like, dang it, I got to get these guns on him. Can't turn my whole gun, so let me turn the whole ship. Yeah, here he comes. Right around the corner. 500 miles per hour, right at me. Torpedoes loaded and ready to burn. <laughs> ready to melt me straight to the Davy Jones locker. We get all our guns on him. HE loaded, fires fires out, and we almost one shot him. Will our secondaries get him? And they do. Close quarters expert, and that will end the game. So. We ended the game with 125k damage, high caliber, and a close quarters. I mean, you know, not the most damage, but like I said, it showcases what what can happen if you hold your flank. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you on the next one. If you don't mind, with a like and a subscribe, I would be greatly appreciated. Y'all have a great night.